Welcome everyone to this video. Today here in 2023, I want to see which web browser between Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Microsoft Edge, and even the Brave web browser, I want to see which one of those four uses the least and the most RAM. Now the way I'm going to do this test is here in a moment, I'm going to open up each browser and just open up the exact same 10 websites in a private window. No extensions will be running in the background, no add-ons of any kind. All four web browsers will be fully up to date, and we'll just see how much memory each one of these web browsers actually use. Please keep in mind that results may vary between different machines due to different hardware, different operating systems, and even if you're using a different version of the browsers, you will get different results. During each test, I will make sure to have the exact same programs running in the background. And right now you can see that we're just hovering at six gigabytes of RAM being used. And so let's go ahead and get Chrome open. You can see I now have Google Chrome open in a private incognito window and I have 10 websites open. We're going to use these exact same 10 websites for this test. And you can see we've currently jumped up to about 7.8, 7.9 memory being used. And if I go over here to processes, we can see the total that Google Chrome is using with 41 processes. I'm just gonna click on one thing on each of these websites one at a time. And so let me just go ahead and get started here. And we'll see if this jumps up at all or if anything changes. Click each one here. And we can see we're closer to two gigs of memory being used. If I go back over to performance, we're at about 8.2 memory total. Now we are in Mozilla Firefox, again, a private window with the same 10 websites. And you can see right now we're at about eight gigs of memory being used. Switching over to the processes, we can see the total being used. And so at this point, I'm just gonna go through and click on one thing again on each website, just to see what happens here. Go through each one. And we can see we're at about 2.5, 2.4 gigs being used right there. It's dipping as low as 2.3. And overall, we're at about 8.7 gigs being used. Microsoft Edge, private window, we're at about 7.5 gigs being used with these 10 websites. So again, just gonna click on one thing each. Before I do that, here's the processes so we can watch them. So let me go ahead and get started here. And we can see we're at about 1.5 being used. And then if I switch over to performance, overall we're at about 7.7. .7. The last browser, Brave, we're in a private window again with the 10 websites we've been using and we're at about 7.8 total being used. Here are the processes and we can see the total for Brave right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and start clicking on something on each site and we'll get this going. for each one. And we can see we're at about 1.6. If I go over here to performance, we're at about eight total. So those are the results on this computer with this specific hardware, with this operating system, with these specific browsers and the specific versions of those browsers with no add-ons or extensions running in the background. With all of that I just listed off again, you may get different results depending on your situation, but those are the results on this machine right now. And it should be noted that all of the browsers except for Mozilla Firefox are Chromium based. And there wasn't a massive difference between them, but this will definitely come into play if you're using a machine with less RAM, such as four gigs, eight gigs, or even maybe 16. This is something that you may wanna look at if you're running close to using all of your RAM. If you get different results or have comments or questions, please post them down below in the comments. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you'd like to support the channel, go ahead and hit that join button, the subscribe button, and that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.